Hey everyone, it's Sharon, and today I thought I would bring you an, an, a Walmart haul. Um, I'm coming to you from my living room today. You can see my kitchen behind me. If you hear the dryer, it's because, well, I'm drying clothes. Um, first is a box of diapers. I am gonna try the Parents' Choice brand. I was just in the baby section looking around and I saw these. I feel like I've maybe heard a few things about them, but I feel like it's been mixed reviews. And the price for these cannot be beat. This, let's see, it's a box of size two. I got a size two just in case they ran small. She's in size one now, but I figure we'll grow into size two. Um, how many are in here? 144. And they were, they were so cheap I couldn't figure out <laughs> if these were them or not. Wow. $17.48 for 144 diapers. I believe on the tag it said that was 12 cents a diaper. I like it. Y'all okay, they done. had, I feel like I'm seeing some more brands now that they're doing this remodel at Walmart. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit like just a larger selection of certain things, like especially in the baby area. So this was Hello Bello Mosquito Repellent, deep free. I don't know. I, I mean, we're getting into summer and we have mosquitoes so heavy here. And um, I just thought maybe if we knew we were spending time outside, it might be nice to have. I also got Dr. Eddie's Happy Cappy uh, medicated shampoo and body wash. It. I feel like she has had some issues with like maybe some cradle cap or um, just like dry scalp flakiness. And I thought this might be nice. It says it fights flakes. Dermatologist tested again. So I mean, we'll see. Okay, this is these one just caught my attention because we aren't yet eating real foods, but we are going to be soon, like very soon. She's, uh, she'll be six months in June. So probably when this goes up, she'll be six months, June 15th. Um, so we're getting very close to starting her on solids. And I saw these and they were just really interesting. It's the Munchkin brand baby spoons. For one thing, I like that it has a longer handle for like if we're feeding her, because I think we are gonna start out with some purees. But this was so cool because it says it's um, okay and too hot. It's like, what do they call it? Uh, white hot safety spoons. So I guess if we're feeding her something that we've warmed up, it will turn white if the food's too hot for her. So that's kind of neat. I got some and formula. We do feed her formula on days she goes to the grandparents' house or like if I'm just running errands and I'm not here and we don't have breast milk thawed because she is for the most part, I can't say she's exclusively breastfed because she's not, she has formula. Um, and we've been using the Bobby formula, but it's real expensive. And lately she's been having some issues with like gassiness. So we first started her out on the Neuro Pro Gentle Ease from Infamil, also very expensive. Um, but she never had really problems with that, so I thought I would try it again. But when I was at Walmart, they actually had the Parents' Choice version of that, and this was $29 for this giant thing. I think the comparable size in Infamil was 50 So let me know if you give your baby this and if they like it. We'll see if she does. I hope she does because it's a huge can. Um, but that'll last us for a long time, for sure. Cereal. I got this for my husband. It's the Trace Light Chase Toast Crunch. They only had it in a family size. Why do they do that? Like when they're coming out with new unique flavors, can you please put them in a normal size cereal box? Like what if we don't like this? And now we have a family size box. Either way, Chase loves Trace Late Chase cake, and so I saw it, sent him a picture, and he was like, uh, yes, please. So we'll have to let you know, I guess, if it's really good. This is the Bright Starts O-Ball. It says O-Ball Technology. So is it the O-Ball? That's the Bright Starts brand. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, but basically, it's like a bumble ball. If you're about my age, you probably know what a bumble ball is. But uh, it, like, vibrates. Can you see that on my hand? All right, so and close. Okay, this one I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if I needed it, but it's this Whitney Houston tank top. I'm really not a huge Whitney fan, but it says I want to dance with somebody on the bottom, and that is my song. <laughs> like if I'm at a wedding 
or like the club or something and that song comes on I'm like yes that's my jam I love it so I got it in an extra large 16 18 because I thought I would put it in with like my workout stuff since it's a, like a muscle tank I got this was in the plus size section it's a size zero in plus size meaning a 14 and it's really soft it's like a t-shirt dress I just liked that it um had kind of this interesting sleeve it's got tie detail up here and it flutters open and I liked the pattern that it wasn't just like a solid color so I thought that would be comfy and it does have pockets I'm actually I think I'm in the minority I don't like pockets in my dresses I the people that like pockets in their dresses have no hips that's all I can say about that because I'm hippie and I don't need to add any extra material to my hip section all right, I specifically went to Walmart to get some t-shirts because uh, most of my t-shirts now are extremely oversized. I was, of course, buying bigger t-shirts when I was pregnant because, well, I was pregnant. But now I'm not. Still kind of chunky, but not pregnant. And so now all my oversized t-shirts just make me look fatter than I am. And I'm already fat enough, so I don't need to look fatter than I really am. Um, so I thought I'd try to get some shirts that were a little bit smaller and might not make me look so gigantic this is not going to translate well on camera just because they're big because i'm not small like i'm not giant but i'm not small this one um is an extra large it's the time and true brand it was on clearance for seven dollars it's really soft um i loved like the orchid color scoop neck it's like a flowier shirt i i don't know maybe i could have gotten a large but i think it the point of it is to be a little bit oversized that's why I think I could have gotten a large, but I think it'll work for seven bucks. And it looks really soft. Okay. So I got two white t-shirts. This one is the Time and True brand. It, I got it in a large. I sized down on this one. Um, it says that's a 12 to 14. It was $11 and it's just a white. It's um, one that's going to be longer in the back than the front. So I kind of like that it's got a bit of a v-neck and it's um got this like off the shoulder seam you know where this this seam goes down off your shoulder but this, this looks... one was one that was like on a folded section it was a lot cheaper it's time and true also another one of those like orchidy colors i really like this color on me tell me if i'm wrong but i like it it's a v-neck it's shorter it's a bit thicker i actually really like that it has more of like a classic sleeve um and I actually think it's gonna be good I got it in XXL which says it's like a size 20 but this is just called a relaxed fit and I did so I don't want it to be like tight but I don't want it to be huge either and then one more my other white shirt it is the same style as that except I sized it down in this one and got an XL oh it's also a scoop neck not scoop but um crew neck so just a classic white t-shirt. All right, I hope you enjoyed my little haul. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. I will know to share them with you more often. I actually go to Walmart quite a bit. Um, whether I go to Walmart or I do a Walmart haul, usually with like a Walmart delivery order, I do um, groceries for that. Um, but today I just wanted to get out of the house. It's rainy today, so we didn't get to go like on our outside walk. We probably could have. I just did not want to get stuck in the rain in case it started raining again. Cause it's supposed to rain off and on all day, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll do more of them later. <laughs> Bye guys.